Imagine feeling like you've been played in your own game on your own turf. That's precisely how I show speed felt after a boxing match with KSI. Imagine putting on your gloves, stepping into the ring, and facing off against a formidable opponent all for a good cause, the anticipation, the adrenaline, the thrill of the fight. That was the scene for iShow Speed and KSI, two renowned figures in the digital world who decided to take their rivalry from the screens to the boxing ring. The match was not just about settling scores or bragging rights, it was a charity event aimed at raising funds for the Anthony Walker Foundation, an organization dedicated to fighting racial inequality and promoting social harmony. The stage was set and the stakes were high. I Show Speed, a popular YouTube streamer, was up against KSI, a well-known YouTuber, rapper, and boxer. In this unusual clash of digital titans, both parties agreed to battle it out over six rounds. The agreement was simple, let the best man win. However, as the match unfolded, it took a turn that left I Show Speed feeling slighted. Despite the initial agreement, KSI forfeited the match midway, tapping out when I Show Speed seemed to be struggling. The act, which might have been seen as a gesture of sportsmanship by some, was perceived as a disrespect by I Show Speed. He believed that he was played by KSI, left hanging in the middle of his own stream. The aftermath was nothing short of a digital uproar. I Show Speed returned to YouTube streaming, expressing his frustration at being lil would by KSI. He felt that if the fight had continued, he would have emerged victorious. His sentiments triggered a wave of reactions from fans, some sympathizing, others criticizing. I Show Speed was left feeling as if he'd been lil would by KSI, sparking a wave of controversy and discussion. But what really happened? As we delve into the details of the boxing match round by round, let's try to unravel the truth behind this provocative setup. It all started as a charity boxing match, six rounds were agreed upon, but things didn't go as planned. The first round kicked off with a palpable tension in the air. Both KSI and I Show Speed, seemingly eager to assert their dominance, circled each other, gauging their opponent's strategy. The bell rang, marking the end of a largely uneventful round with both fighters still sizing each other up. The second round began, and the intensity ramped up. KSI, leveraging his boxing experience, started to land a few solid punches. I Show Speed, however, was not to be outdone. He retaliated with a series of jabs, showing his determination and grit. As the third round rolled in, the scales began to tip in favor of KSI. His superior boxing skills were starting to show as he landed some hard-hitting blows. I Show Speed was visibly struggling, but he pressed on, refusing to back down. The fourth round saw I Show Speed on the ropes. His energy seemed to be waning as he tried to fend off KSI's relentless attack. It was clear that the tide had turned and KSI was in control of the match. Just when everyone thought the fifth round would be a continuation of KSI's dominance, a surprising twist occurred. KSI, in an unexpected move, decided to tap out, forfeiting the match. The crowd was stunned. Despite I Show Speed's apparent struggle, KSI's decision to tap out was a curveball no one saw coming. The sixth round never happened. The match ended with KSI's forfeit in the fifth round, leaving everyone in a state of disbelief. The anticipated climax of the boxing match was cut short leaving a cloud of controversy in its wake. Despite the match's abrupt end, the controversy was just beginning. I Show Speed felt cheated, but was he? This question would become the focal point of the discussions that followed the match, spurring heated debates among fans and critics alike. The boxing match had ended, but the real fight, it seemed, was just beginning. As the dust settled, I Show Speed took to his platform, his anger palpable. He believed he was played by KSI. After the match, he returned to his comfort zone, the world of YouTube streaming, a place where he could speak his mind unfiltered. I Show Speed expressed his dissatisfaction with how the match unfolded. He was convinced that he was on the verge of victory, that the win was within his grasp. He felt robbed of his moment, feeling that KSI had forfeited the match prematurely just as he was struggling. In his own words, he believed that he was lil broad by KSI, a term implying a sense of belittlement. It was as if KSI had pulled the rug from under his feet, denying him the chance to prove himself in the ring. His frustration was evident. He was irate, believing that he had been toyed with in front of his own stream. I Show Speed was not just upset about the outcome of the match, but also about the way KSI handled it. He felt as though he had been used as a pawn in KSI's game. His anger extended beyond the match, as he was too angry to respond to KSI's text after the match. His pride was wounded, and he wanted to let the world know. But amidst all the anger and frustration, one question remains. 
Was I show speed justified in his anger? Was he right to feel played by KSI? Or was this just a case of sour grapes, of not being able to accept defeat graciously? There are two sides to every story, and this is no exception. Some might argue that I show speed's reaction was a natural response to feeling cheated. Others might say that he should have respected KSI's decision to forfeit, considering his boxing experience. I show speed's frustration was clear, but was it justified or just sour grapes? The answer to this question, like most things, depends on perspective. No matter the verdict, this incident has certainly added a new chapter to the ongoing saga of I show speed and KSI. The audience had their own take on the event. Some sided with I show speed, others criticized him for not acknowledging KSI's boxing experience. Let's delve into the world of reactions, where allegiances were tested, and opinions were as diverse as a painter's palette. The aftermath of the match was like a battlefield, littered with the residue of passionate debates and fervent discussions. On one side of the ring, we had the I Show Speed supporters standing by their champion. They echoed his sentiments, feeling that he had been robbed of a fair fight. They saw his frustration not as a sign of unsportsmanlike conduct, but as a justified response to an unexpected turn of events. Their loyalty was unwavering, their belief in I show speed unshaken. On the other side, we had the critics. They pointed out that boxing isn't just about physical strength, but also about strategy and experience. They argued that I show speed's reaction was not just a display of disappointment, but also a lack of respect for KSI's boxing prowess. They believed that acknowledging one's opponent's skill is a fundamental part of the sport, a principle that I show speed seemed to overlook in his post-match commentary. Then, there was the vast sea of neutrals, those who watched from the sidelines taking in the spectacle with a pinch of salt. They saw the event for what it was, a charity match that was meant to entertain and raise funds. To them, the controversy was just a sideshow, a spicy twist to an otherwise straightforward boxing match. Interestingly, amidst all these reactions, the event managed to spark a wider conversation about sportsmanship, respect, and the spirit of competition. It brought to the forefront the question of how one should handle defeat, and whether there's room for anger and frustration in sports. In the end, it's clear that this event sparked more than just a boxing match. It sparked a conversation. And that, dear listeners, is the power of sports. It's not just about winning or losing, but about the stories we weave, the debates we ignite, and the lessons we learn along the way. So, was it a fair match or a calculated play? The answer might be subjective. As we wrap up this saga, it's clear that the I Show Speed vs. KSI bout stirred up more than just a physical tussle. It brought to light the complexities of sportsmanship, competitiveness, and the unwritten rules of the game. I Show Speed felt played believing he could have turned the tide had the match continued. KSI, on the other hand, might have seen his forfeit as an act of sportsmanship. Sparing I show speed when he seemed to be struggling, this event leaves a lasting imprint on their relationship, a blend of respect and rivalry. It's a stark reminder that victory isn't just about winning the match, it's also about how you play the game. It's about perseverance, respect, and knowing when to step back. Whether you side with I show speed or KSI, one thing's for sure. In the world of competitive sports, sometimes the most significant battles are fought outside the ring. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the I show speed versus KSI saga and want to stay updated with more exciting insights, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, stay curious and keep asking questions.